An election petition filed by Western Islands Governor Pais Winti has been adjourned to January next year. This brings to a total of 33 election petition cases that's currently pending decision of the Supreme Court. The hearing today follows the decision of the National Court by Justice Makai Judgment on the 19th of February 2015, which the court concluded while dismissing 10 election petition grounds and upholding only one and granted leave of absence to file Mr. Winty's submissions for a full judicial review. Uh, the 21 ballot uh, boxes, uh, they've, they, they've not been disputed. It has been uh, uh, unilaterally uh, not being counted by the returning officer, and there's nothing wrong with those ballot uh, ballot boxes, and they should have been. Our argument is they, they they must be counted. The applicant's lawyer Alfred Manasse filed submission on the following issues to fix. Firstly, the court decision is unlikely to affect the result of the election on the 21 election boxes not being counted, and insufficient briefings by the polling officials to inform the returning officer about the result of the election. Manasse argued that whether the petition reads Section 153A of the Organic Law on Provincial and Local Level Government was not being pleaded in the petition. The case was adjourned awaiting a full trial to be convened on January 2016. Meanwhile, the Chief Electoral Commissioner, Patilias Gamato, has announced that there are only six months remaining to conduct the by elections prior to the issue of which for the coming 2016 national elections. This has drawn many questions about the legality of how these election petition judgments that would be concluded in full trial by Supreme Court prior to the national elections. Eric Arupman, National MTV News.